if you are looking for the best way to export your videos in CapCut as a YouTuber or for TikTok or Instagram or any social media platform, then pay close attention as in this video, I'll be explaining to you the things that you have to do to get it right. Okay. So first off, if you don't know the export button, this is the export button on, you know, CapCut, right? If you tap on it, your video will be exported, right? So over here, I'm just going to cancel it and go back because I don't want to, you know, export the video yet, right? I just want to show you how you can do it the right way. So the first thing that you have to do to get the best quality video, if you want to export, right? Come and tap on this icon over here. Once you tap on it, you see a drop down option over here. And this is where you do most of the settings. You can see my own is on 1080p and 30 frames per second. That is the frame rate, right? You don't want to reduce it to this option. If you reduce it to this place, your video quality is going to be very, very low and it's going to affect the performance of your video. If you put it on 722, that one too is low for your video to perform well. So always put it on 1080p. That is okay. And if you put it on 2K or 4K, what happened is that if you upload it to, let's say, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that, the resolution is going to be reduced by this platform. This platform will reduce the resolution of your video, making it a poor video. And of course, you've put in a lot of work into your video. So you don't want this platform to reduce the quality for you to become a bad video at the end of the day. So you definitely want to be on a safer side by putting it on 1080p. And the frame rate over here, it depends on how smooth you want your video to play, right? But then I don't advise you to put it at a higher frame rate like this. That is going to affect your file. Unless you want to use the file again, you want to edit it again. And in this time of editing, you want to incorporate some kind of slow motion effect into it. Okay. So when you have a higher time frame, it makes your slow motion effect smoother. That is the only advantage. And aside that, if you don't want to you know put in any other editing again after exporting for that matter you don't want to put in any slow motion effect after exporting i highly advise you put it at 30. that is the best way you can do it right and that is it once you are done with your settings you can just go ahead and tap on this arrow at the top over here and your video will be exported and i hope you do find this video helpful if you do kindly go ahead and hit that like button on the video and also subscribe for more videos coming up on this channel i'll see you in the next video